tonight. He just got us falling in love again. Because tonight. <laughs> Guardo, you ready, man? Let's do this. All right, well, it's uh, Friday. You know, it's like April 15th. It's been a long time since I put out a video, but I've been busy. Can't wait for summer to hit so I can start pumping out like a video every day for you guys. Because you deserve it. But uh, I watched this fight a couple times and I had to, uh, you know, actually do an after fight afterthought for it. And this is for the Marcos Maidana Eric Morales fight. And first off, let me start out by saying this was an amazing fight. If you didn't see the fight, that's something you should have already seen twice. You know what I mean? It was one of those kind of fights. And Maidana appears to be the kind of guy that you're going to get those fights with. Eric Morales is always giving you those kind of fights, okay? So, looking at that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the after fight, after thought. I'll go start out with the winner with the after fight, and then the loser, the afterthought. I'm even going to throw in the round by round, my scoring, and, you know, what I think or where they're going to go from here. And starting out with uh, Marcos Maidana coming into this fight, you know, it's, uh, this should be an easy fight for him. You know, he's going up against a fighter who had admittedly appears past his prime, has not looked um, completely and totally sharp in his last three fights in his comeback, and it should be a mismatch. Uh, people are also asking, why is this even happening, especially for the fact that it's kind of like for a, you know, a eliminator fight kind of deal. Uh, is it, He's going to put the legend away. This shouldn't be the way a legend gets put out. You know, he should be able to go out almost on his own terms. Yeah, maybe he loses a close decision that, and then he goes out that way. Hindsight, or not hindsight, but looking into this, this is a must win for him. If he loses this, he's instantly going to be starting, people are going to think of him as dropping down and being maybe that stepping stone fighter. Yeah, he's got a lot of power. Yeah, he can knock you out. But here's the deal. If you can box him, if you can throw the shot straight down the pipe, then he's um, going to struggle with that doesn't deal with that if he doesn't knock you out you know if, if you have a good chin or if you have a good defense you make it through and you beat him uh, if he looks bad you know if it goes to a decision it's going to look bad on him I mean he's not really going to win a lot of people over if he goes to a decision granted Eric Morales is a legend but a legend is a legend it's the past you know rarely is a legend still fighting I guess some people would say, Manny Pacquiao's still fighting. You know, uh, okay. You know, maybe I'll give you that a little bit. Um, but it's a trap fight. If he if he knocks out Morales and he does it fast, everybody's going to say, well, you know, he should have. You know, he's 6-1, to one, you know, favorite going into this. Looks bad with decision. Maybe Madonna's a one-trick pony. You know, and, uh, you know, he's going to be in trouble. Going over to Eric Morales with this, uh, this is this his one last big payday. Does he have anything left in the tank? Yeah, everybody says, can he carry 140? Was he really struggling at 135, or was he really done? You know, was was that pretty much his swan song? Because his body is uh, just giving up on him. Will his body betray him? Uh, can he war with Maidana? I mean, to war with somebody, you got to have a lot in the tank. And when Morales was getting out of the biz, you know, before he uh, started this comeback... His tank looked about half empty. You know, he did not look good. Losses to Pacquiao, losses to Barrera, losses to Diaz. You know, those all seem to have taken their toll on him finally. Is he going to be tarnishing his what rep? If he gets knocked out or loses badly, I mean, this they're going to be like, again, here's another guy that came in to do something, but, you know, tried to prove a point or whatever, and once again, you know, hung on too long, and, you know, just kind of, puts a chink in the legend that he's already built um, when if he loses and it's close you know if he looks good you know he will get some looks you know hey maybe he is back you know if it's a loss or a draw you know kind of thing if he loses it should have been a draw kind of thing you know maybe he's legit and if he wins El Terrible is back you know what I'm saying you know hey, hey oh, oh, Gordo I know you're happy man shut up man anyway let me break down the fight. Uh, round one, Maidana's out early. He's lunging, working the body, hooks and uppercuts. Morales' eye is swelling. It looks horrible. You know, and Maidana is pushing the pace. 
I gave that round to Maidana. Uh, round two, uh, the pace is up. Morales is half blind. You know, they're lightly trading. You know, Morales looks more active. Marks uh, works him on the ropes. Big right by Morales. By far the biggest shot in the, in the round or the fight so far. It looked like it actually wobbled Maidana and hurt him. And uh, it was a very close round. I actually gave it a draw. Maidana appeared to win the first half. Morales definitely won the second half. And the third round, uh, hooks by uh, Maidana. This is a common occurrence throughout the fight. Uh, Ale Morales' eye was gone. I mean, he absolutely could not see anything out of that eye, and you're going to get hit with those lefts. Uh, they're trading. Morales is on the ropes. Rights by Morales. Uh, nice hooks and uppercuts by Maidana. Counters by Morales. Uh... It ends, uh, I believe Maidana was being more aggressive toward the end. I gave that round to Maidana. So it's two to one draw to nothing. Uh, in the fourth round, again, Mora Maidana comes out aggressive. You know, there's a nice uh, left hook by Morales. Uh, they start coming in. Eric Morales fires back. You know, they're, they're banging back at each other. He actually wins the exchange. Eric Morales is letting his hands go. Big right by Eric Morales. You know... Counters by Morales, you know, they're trading shots. Eric Morales is out, absolutely outworking him. And great trade. And what I mean by outworking, people are going to look at it and say, well, Maidana threw a lot more punches. The quality and consistency of what Morales was throwing was amazing. I mean, he was landing like 18 to 26 shots. I mean, that's unheard of. I mean, so granted, he wasn't throwing a lot, but he was deadly accurate with them. And when he was actually outlanding like that, that's what I'm talking about. He's outboxing him. And I gave that round to Morales. 2-1-1. One, one. Fifth round, uh, Maidana comes out like on fire, throwing him. But Eric Morales fires right back. You know, you're seeing a lot of this stuff happening. Wait, the fourth round and the fifth round I got swapped up. I apologize. That was me jumping ahead of myself. I was getting all excited. The fourth round, Maidana won. It was nothing uh, massive on that. He actually uh, had Morales on the ropes. He was applying the pressure. And you were starting to think to yourself, hey, maybe this isn't going that well. So I gave that round to Maidana. Fifth round I gave to Morales. So I made it 3-1-1. Going into the sixth, they're trading. Eric Morales is picking up the pace. It appears as Maidana might be fading. But he's still applying the pressure. Counters by Morales. A nice right by Maidana. Eric Morales starts firing back. He's winning all the exchanges. And I gave that round to Eric Morales. So that's 3-1-2. Round seven, slower start. Maidana is lunging every time he lunges. Eric Morales is countering him. They're tying up, trading Eric Morales again, countering great jabs by Morales, knocking him back, knocking him off balance. Uh, nice combo by Morales. They're warring. Uh, good couple shots to the body by Maidana near the end of the round, but I gave that round to Eric Morales as well. So that's the seventh, so it's 3-1-3. Three, three. This round uh, fight is tied in, in my book in the eighth round. Uh, again, Maidana's pushing the pace. Massive left hook by Eric Morales lands in there. Um, Another left by Eric Morales. He's absolutely outboxing Maidana. Left everywhere, all across the ring. Uh, right by Maidana actually lands. They're trading the jabs that are landing by Eric Morales aren't just soft. They're actually hard shots. And when they're landing, you can see they're taking an effect. Uh, a nice right and an uppercut by Maidana. A big left hand by Eric you know, Morales again. And they're trading. I gave that round to Eric Morales. Morales is actually leading the fight now. 3-1-4. Uh, so he's up four rounds. Going into the ninth, uh, trading. Morales is, uh, uh, Maidana's teeing off. Morales actually looks hurt. But the warrior that he is, he keeps firing back. You know, the trading back and forth. Uh, Knights, uh, jabs and counters by Morales toward the end there. But I thought Maidana did enough to win the round. Again, it's back tied 4-1-4. Four, four. Into the tenth. It starts off slow. They're trading combos by Morales. They're trading uppercut by Eric Morales. They're trading again. Not more counters. Uh, body work, banging combos by Morales. They're trading big shots by uh, Maidana at the end. But I gave that round to Morales. So Morales is actually leading going into the 11th round in my book. 5-1-4. In the 11th, they're trading. Maidana's pressing. Left hook and body shots by Maidana. Maidana keeps pressing. He's really imposing his will on Morales here. Uh, and Morales tries to come back, but it seems a little bit short. I gave that round to Maidana. It's 5-1-5. Five, five. And this fight was by far better than anything I thought it would be. Uh, going into the 12th, 
it was uh, basically made on a pressing. Eric Morales trying to fire back, but not really getting digging down there and seeing it. Um, he was countering. He did well with that. Uh, occasionally landing a good solid right hands, you know, uh, quite a few times actually. Next thing you know, it explodes. You know, he lands a monster right hand. Maidana actually looks hurt, and uh, but then Maidana instantly recovers and he starts banging that body, trading uppercuts, and then they both start trading uh, back and forth, and then big shots by, by Maidana toward the end of the round, and I believe Maidana won that round, so I had it six rounds to five with one as a draw and I guess if you did the math 60 45 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 114 for Madonna so where does this leave well, we kind of know now, I guess you would say, that Maidana is not really the, an elite, elite fighter. I don't think he's as good as Bradley or Khan in this division. I think he could hang with Alexander, because Alexander kind of showed some signs that I didn't want to see against Bradley. Quick, quick, tenth round. Anyway, um, did he take this fight too lightly when you start thinking about it? Uh, can his new trainer help him like he helped uh, a Barrera? Will we start seeing the effects of that? Will he actually start getting better? Will he be able to evolve his style? Because just coming forward and being basically a banger, banger, slugger kind of guy is not really going to get the job done against the elite fighters. Um, can he stay up? I think he can. I think he's got a shot at doing it. And who's out there? Like I said, Alexander. Any of the up-and-coming guys would be good for him. But I think a rematch needs to happen. We need to see that. Because going over there, we know with Eric Morales, he, we know he's game for a few more fights. We saw it. How good would he have been had he not had his eye closed? He fought that fight with one eye. Don't tell me that those left hooks that landed by Maidana would have landed had Morales had full sight in that eye. You know, he sees the left, he gets the hand up a little bit because he was rolling with the punches great, which kept him in there. And so, um, can he dig down and give another great showing like he just did? Can he do that one more time? We've asked him to go to the well and he delivered. Can he do it again? Um, he was far more accurate, but he didn't work the body, so that hurt him. You know, he's, his up game, his counter game, all excellent. But he did not work that body like he should have. Uh, opening this up, I could see an Alexander. I could see a Bradley. I could see these guys stepping up wanting to fight him. Does uh, Barrera want to fight him again? You know, resume that war. Maybe even Pacquiao was starting to see, hey, if I get by Mosley, this could be a big money fight. Because trust me, it would be a big money fight. Morales is here, and you better be ready to fight him. I was kind of impressed. A little pudgy in the middle, but hey. You know, he's going to work that off. I think he's going to be good to go. So at 34, I think he still has some left in the tank. So let's see. But hey, please comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry I went a little long, but I thought this was worth it. And, uh, you know, click on those little ads that pop up occasionally. You know, it's kind of hard when, see, I get 3,000 views and only two ad clicks. It's rough. Anyway, hey, this is Big Ragu. And uh, I'm out.